Sports tourism has driven Indianapolis as evolution into becoming a major American city, and now Indiana lawmakers are hoping to boost spending to expand that success statewide. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us how seed money from the state house could put more cash in the pockets of Hoosiers employed by the hospitality industry. It's been just a couple weeks since tens of thousands of our town visitors crowded the sidewalks outside of Lucas Oil Stadium for the college football playoffs and spent a lot of money in Indianapolis. Visit Indy estimates the college football playoff championship's economic impact on Indianapolis was $150 million, a big midwinter payday as the tourism industry continues to recover from the pandemic recession. The College Football Playoff National Championship marked the 255th event we've hosted since the pandemic, uh, safely welcoming now more than a million attendees through the Convention Center and Lucas Oil Stadium. The last good year for tourism in Indianapolis was 2019, when the hospitality industry recorded a $5.6 billion impact for the city. Senate Bill 245 recognizes the significance of sports tourism spending and would commit the state to providing seed money for the bid packages to bring even more events to Marion County and the rest of the state. If we could get into that $5 million range, I think it would be uh, a very meaningful investment and would produce a very solid return for our taxpayers. The Indiana Sports Corp, uh, through their efforts statewide, had an economic impact of over $76 million just last year, they, uh, which, which also amounted to over $5 million in local taxes and $5 million in state taxes. And 25% of the state seed money would be dedicated to landing sporting events outside of Marion County, such as at Grand Park in Westfield, which has accounted for $1.2 billion in Hamilton County economic impact over the last eight years, hosting youth sporting events. It becomes, it, it becomes very competitive in these, these tournaments. They want more and more uh, for nothing, so to speak. And, of course, our funds here locally uh, are extremely limited in how we could compete with a state-backed uh, incentive program for a given term. The bill has now been sent to the full Senate for a debate, and if it passes, it'll still be another year before enough money is appropriated to establish that fund. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.